Hi, I'm JP. I'm an application engineer with Stratasys. So investment casting, it's a very traditional process of making metal parts. A pattern is created that can be sacrificial, and then it's encased and dipped in ceramic, at which point then the whole assembly is put into a furnace and the pattern is burned out. The limitation with the investment casting process is you still have to use a traditionally created master pattern. By using 3D printing, particularly using the V650, you unlock all the benefits of both worlds. You get the freedom of design of additive manufacturing, and you get the reliable and true process of investment casting. By utilizing the V650 for investment casting, we make the process easier and also more economical. We actually 3D print the pattern in a very unique process where it's mostly hollow. So for instance, right here, this is a throttle body we have that was printed in a hollow casting pattern style. So it is 99% hollow. And then we use this and encase it in ceramic. We burn out the master pattern in the ceramic and then we pour in the metal and we get the final metal part where in the past you were limited to what you could mold as a master pattern, now you're completely free because you can 3D print the master pattern. One of the first customers interested in the V650 was an aerospace company that directly cast their patterns. They were actually using a hybrid part where they're hand assembling multiple parts coming out of multiple molds. This is a very laborious part and it was hard for them to keep tolerances and to keep reliability in their patterns. By introducing a 3D printed pattern, we were able to one, control the accuracy better, and also to give them more reliability and more consistency in the casting process as a whole. Oftentimes when people think of 3D printing metal, their first thought goes to a direct metal laser sintering process. The advantage of using the V650 to create this process is you get the same benefits of a metal part, but without all the, the challenges that go into the direct metal printing process. By using additive uh, manufacturing with stereolithography to create these patterns, you not only have the freedom of the molding process, but you have the freedom of the design process as well. So if you need this, a final metal part, you can use the V650 to get there faster and more economically.